Pedagogy of Environmental Studies Unit 1 Introduction to Environmental Studies The two different perspectives of environmental studies We all know that environmental studies is an interdisciplinary study of how humans interact with their environment because of this holistic approach there are no separate textbooks for environmental studies in science and environmental studies in social science subjects on the contrary environmental studies is introduced as a composite of these subjects at the primary stage the present National Curriculum Framework 2005 has also called for the continuation and further strengthening of this integrated approach that is as a single subject from class 1 up to class 5 with a combination of all themes and topics for environmental studies during the primary years of schooling. Number 1. Environmental studies as an area of study integrating science and social science. Let us try to understand about environmental studies as a subject integrating science and social science but according to the National Curriculum Framework 2005. The National Curriculum Framework 2005 had recommended that at the primary stage, that is, in classes 1 to 2, natural and social environment should be taught as an integral part of language and mathematics. So, according to NCF 2005, children should be engaged in activities that would help them in promoting an understanding about the natural and social environment. Students' understanding at this level, that is, classes 1 and 2, should be based on observation and illustration rather than abstractions. Observation and illustrations need to be drawn from the physical, biological, social, and cultural aspects of life. It is important for children to develop the skill of observation, identification, and Classification According to the National Curriculum Framework 2005, from classes 3 up to class 5, the subject of environmental studies will be introduced. By this time, children may be initiated to locate and comprehend the relationships between the natural and social environment and introduce to analogies between natural diversity and socio-cultural diversity. To conclude, the National Curriculum Framework 2005 recommended that science and social science be integrated as environmental studies at the primary stage. That's why we say that environmental studies at the primary stage is an area of study integrating science and social science. Number two, environmental studies as science and environmental studies as social science. Let us first try to understand the studying of environmental studies 
as science according to the National Curriculum Framework 2005 but at the upper primary stage. At the upper primary stage, children should be engaged in learning the principles of science through familiar experiences, working with hands to design simple technological units and modules. For example, designing and making a working model of a windmill to lift weights and so on. Scientific concepts are to be arrived at mainly from activities and experiments, group activities, discussions with peers and teachers, surveys, organization of data and display through exhibition, etc. There should be continuous as well as periodic assessments like unit tests, term and tests, and so on. The system of direct grading should be adopted. Now, let us try to understand the studying of environmental studies as social science according to the National Curriculum Framework 2005, but at the upper primary stage. As we all know that at the upper primary stage, the subject of social science draws its content from history, geography, political science, and economics will be introduced. Simultaneously, children may be introduced to contemporary issues and problems. Contemporary issues may be looked at from multiple perspectives by introducing children to social and economic problems of society. Emphasis needs to be given to issues like poverty, illiteracy, child and bonded labor, class, caste, gender, and environment. At this stage, children will be introduced to the formation and functioning of governments at the local, state, and national level, and the democratic processes of participation. Now, we can understand that environmental studies at the upper primary stage is no more an area of study integrating science and social science, but a bifurcation of science and social science. The two different perspectives of environmental studies is because environmental studies at primary stage is an area of study integrating science and social science, but at the upper primary stage is no more an area of study integrating science and social science, but a bifurcation of science and social science. Thank you.